Well, the sky really is the limit for a group in Kevo Land. Six students at Lake Area Technical Institute received quite the honor this year. And as Kevo Land's Kelly Volk explains, it involves NASA. It's just another day on campus for Lake Area Tech student Brad Goff. Uh, this is my 3D printer. But his shirt gives you a good idea of where he's been. Honestly, it was life changing. Goff like, completed an internship this fall that took him all the way to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Four other students from the tech school's electronic systems and robotics programs landed NASA internships too. It's a huge, huge opportunity. Who, what, who doesn't want NASA on their resume when they're going out trying to find a job? I mean, that's just huge for these kids. One student from the aviation maintenance program received the honor. Well, this is my certificate of completion that I got at Student NASA Jacob Pagel worked on items. aircraft at the Armstrong Flight Research Center in Southern California. It was a very good experience, once in a lifetime chance. I get jealous in a good way, seeing where these people go to work, and I'd have done anything to go to work for NASA when I was going to oh, school. No, I already got. It. I used the <laughs> this oh. thing. Goff is more interested yeah. in space after his time down south. It's now one more idea worth exploring as he gets ready for his future career. It is certainly an option that I can go down, or a road I can go down. In Watertown, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. Lake Area Tech students have been doing the internships for several years now. They are funded through the South Dakota Space Grant Consortium.